Hello everyone, I'm Caleb Steinborn, the product manager with ITI VR Simulations. Today, we're going to be taking our first look at the motion-based version of our mobile crane simulator. Let's get to it. Alright, now we're going to take a look at the motion base. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different from our desktop version, but fundamentally they're very similar. The core differences you'll notice right away are that we've added the chair, and it's tied into our motion platform here at the base. This is the actual motion base itself, which provides us with that sensation of movement. The joystick pods are the same, the motion base comes with mounted foot pedals, and in order to operate this, you're going to see this little mount here for the Oculus touch controls for calibration. Speaking of, we're going to turn over here to the table now to take a look at the components we're going to need. Now as a brief sweep over here, we have the new Rift touch controls, the laptop and two sensors, the Rift, the tripod, and protective feet that will be going at the bottom of the motion base to protect the cables. All right, so we're going to install these around the four feet of the motion base in order to protect the cables. These cups will go under the motion actuators to make sure that nothing gets pinched or damaged and it keeps the motion base settled and lying flat. Now that we have the feet installed, we're going to move on to plugging in the cables. Coming out of the motion base, there are two cables. There's the AC power cable, which will be plugging into the wall, and the USB cable, which will plug into the laptop. This comes with a USB extension cable so that no matter how far the laptop is away, you should be able to reach it just fine. Now the next important thing is to set up the tripod properly. The tripod is going to come in three parts. You're going to have the body with the two arms. Make sure when you do this that the wing nut is on the top. You are also going to want to get the sensor arms set up and fastened down so that they're about chest height. Now we're going to take the sensors and mount them onto the tripod. To do this, simply unscrew and lift off. Now this part is fairly tricky. These wing nuts can be fairly unforgiving, but the goal here is that you want to loosen the wing nut just enough. that you can screw in the sensor and have it securely facing forward. Now that we have the sensors mounted onto the tripod, we're gonna plug it into the laptop. For the motion-based cable configuration, both sensors get plugged into the right side of the laptop. The second part of the laptop cable configuration involves the USB 3.0 hub. So we're gonna plug this into the USB 3.0 port. Now we're going to take the USB cable from the Oculus Rift and plug it into the hub. Plugging in the HDMI cable into the laptop. Now we're going to take the USB cable from the motion base and plug it into the hub as well. All right, so the distance between the sensors and the motion base is very important, especially since we have this additional space for the foot pedals. You're going to want to move the tripod so that it's about a foot to a foot and a half in front of the foot pedals. Now, make sure that the sensors are flat, facing forward, and that there's no wobble in these arms. They need to be completely dead on or else the calibration will get messed up. Now that we've added the Oculus Rift touch controls, we need to reset up the Oculus Rift if this computer has already been set up. Because these are going to be your new input devices. Even though you're only going to be using one of these on the motion base, you need to get them both set up. So we're now going to switch over to the laptop view, and I'm going to walk you through the steps in order to get this properly set up. Alright, we're going to go through the sensor calibration step here. 
Now in the Oculus desktop app, we're going to click on settings, go to devices, and in this drop down menu, we're going to click on reset sensor tracking. It's testing right now to make sure that both of our sensors are plugged in and communicating properly. This can take a minute. There we go. Make sure that you have the glossy side, the side with the little light, facing towards your motion base. I always default to 510 as a good default value. You're going to be asked to clear the space. You will not be moving the motion base. We'll be working around it. Now, this position that we have right here is going to be replicated by the tripod. So you don't need to pay attention to this graphic. Now, we're going to go ahead and set up the left touch control. So, taking the left touch control in your hand, move over to the motion base, sit squarely in the middle, and holding the touch controller up at about face level, hold down the trigger for about a second. Now, we're going to move these sensors on the screen until they're approximately lined up on either side of the monitor. There we go. Now, we're going to set up the Guardian system. You can see where my touch controller shows up in the middle of this area. We're going to try to draw a big square or rectangle around the motion base. By holding down the trigger, I'm just going to move around, making sure that the sensor can see the touch controller at any time. I do not want the seat to be obscuring the visibility. And there we go. All right, now we're down to the final step before we can open up the simulator. So we only actually need the left touch control. The right control we'll put back in the box and we'll pull this out if we're ever gonna do anything involving the touch controls. So taking the left control on the left side, thread it through and then gently slide it in. It should rest comfortably and snugly. All right, and that is how you get your motion-based version of the Mobile Crane Simulator up and running. It has been a pleasure demonstrating this for you. Again, my name is Caleb Steinborn, Product Manager for ITI VR Simulations. If you have any problems setting up your unit, my contact information is in the blue bar below. Be sure to contact us and we'll get someone in touch with you directly. Best of luck and have a great day.